hi guys and welcome to the show. Today I got something very special indeed. I have two samples from the Squalet 2002 line. Uh, this is a kind of step up from the 1521 and just slightly below their master diver range. This is really, uh, I would class this as a luxury diver watch. Uh, however, it is really built for the task and has some incredible unique features that uh, I, I, to be honest, I didn't know about, but now um, I've got two of these in and I've learned a little bit about this incredible model. It really is quite an impressive watch. Let's get into the watch itself. Uh, first of all, I, I brought it, I chose to have a look at the all blue with this beautiful um, sunburst eff effect on the dial, which is darker on the outside, lighter blue on the inside, and the PVD version. But the one that's really kind of, um, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at the blue one in just a moment. This is the one that's really kind of caught my attention. Now they come pretty much, they come on these natural rubber straps with these, with a just quite a standard fold over and push button uh, release clasp here. And you just cut this to, to fit. Uh, but to be honest, this is a little bit boring, I thought, for, for such a unique piece. I happen to have this amazing uh, NATO that was a 22 just lying around and I hadn't got a watch with PVD in the 22 millimeter size. So I popped it onto the, uh, the all black PVD 2002 here and it absolutely works. So this is the reference 2002, of course. It's also known as the 101 ATM. Uh, and it is, of course, a 1,000 meter diver. Now, this is a serious, serious diving watch. In fact, it's a bit of a reissue of a classic diver from the 70s. Uh, well, as you can tell by its style, it really was an iconic diving watch that Squalor made way back in the early days. As you guys know, they have a really prestigious history of making cases for Blancpain, Doxa, uh, tag tag hoy uh, all kinds of uh, great brands so uh, and then of course they started making their own watches and this really caught on this became a, a classic a really iconic uh, watch in the 70s so this is a, a, a re-release of a classic but but they've updated it with some really unique features that I'm going to go through right now so it, it became famous as a diver in its own right uh, because it had such a unique this cushion completely doesn't have any lugs the the strap literally lugs are kind of hidden into the curvature of this cushion case. The Italian Navy Diving Corps or the Marina Militare Italiana actually used these. Uh, so it's got quite a prestigious uh, military uh, use uh, and also with the Italian parachutists as well. So quite a prestigious history with the Italian military. And on top of that, this PVD coating is actually done by Beretta, the famous Italian gun maker. So, uh, and Beretta really know what they're doing with the PVD finish and it's just done exquisitely well. Absolutely impeccable job there. Underneath we have Swedish steel and of course on, it's completely polished on the stainless steel version. It, it's, it's like nothing I've ever seen before to be honest but it's funny it's really retro um, but it's kind of modern too, and I think I think the PVD one here looks really quite dashing on this on on this military to keep in that military theme, match it really well with this uh, NATO strap. It is a big watch. It's a, of course it's a diving watch, and the case is larger to to make it even more uh, waterproof. It has a thick 3.5 millimeter sapphire glass on the front. This ensures a double gasket to to increase its water protection. But the main, uh, th the main attraction and the main outstanding feature of this watch is this bezel. This is n by no means no ordinary bezel. It's actually Bakelite and these are handmade. Uh, each bezel is handmade. It has loom embedded in it. It's hand finished and on top we have an acrylic uh, crystal to protect the actual bezel. And to, to engage it, you have to hold it down and then, and then then move across. It's bi-directional, 
which is really cool. So you just push that, you push down, and then you and then you turn to the desired amount. So a really unique bezel. In fact, uh, when I was talking about this watch uh, with Squire, they 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 were saying that um, just the bezel costs three hundred. It costs them three hundred dollars just to make these bezels. This is probably one of the, the best bezels I've seen on a, on a diver, the exception being probably the Master Diver. So it's very similar in, in, in how it operates to the Master Diver, which of course, you know, is several thousand dollars. This this comes in at about 1300 1200 and you're getting impeccable finishing. If we just have a look at the back, there's nothing really, you know, you get the standard, this one's still got the sticker on, you get the standard uh, screw down case back. A lot thicker and heavier, obviously because of the increased water protection. On the side, uh, both of them have, of course, the Von Buren signed crown. It's at the more unusual uh, kind of, I would say it's like 430 position. But what is outstanding is, let's bring in the blue one, because this dial is just gorgeous. Look at, let it focus. Just look at that, look at the hour markers. The way they have these kind of multi-layered, different little sides of, the indices are applied, we've got the loom going around the outside uh, and the way the indices are done they're like quite multi-sided little uh, applied indices that really play with the light and it's of course it's the same on the on the um, PVD version I love this sunburst dial but I might have to say I'm really quite in love with with this one. Now it is a big watch. Let's just have a look at the dimensions. Diameter is 43 millimeters in diameter. We've got a thickness of, I would say that's about 16 millimeters thickness. Lug width doesn't really count because there's no lugs to speak of, but it will t it takes a 22 millimeter. And it takes a 22 millimeter uh, NATO. And then from, well, it's not lug to lug, but from the outer diameter it's about 48 so it's a big it's a big piece but because it has no lugs a smaller wrist can can wear it too uh, but this is a dive watch and this is supposed to be bigger so anyway let's quickly switch to a loom shot so you can see this bad boy in action okay guys so as you can see there are loom on the outer bezel on the outer rotating bezel and of course on the main dial and it's uh, it's quite good it's uh, the outer bezel is not as bright so a really cool feature i just adore this this the having the loom on the outer bezel just really really cool nice touch uh, that baker light layered bezel it's just so cool anyway guys back to the studio okay welcome back now of course we haven't discussed the movement what movement has it got inside it is of course the swiss eta or eta 28 24-2 automatic fully self-winding and it's hackable of course you can manually wind it as well it's a fantastic reliable workhorse movement that is really well respected and when you do operate it, it it's like butter it's it's definitely a step up from the 1521 whatever they've done to it and to put it into the case it it feels a lot more refined uh, and you, you'd expect it for for this higher price bracket so this watch is entirely made in Switzerland by hand uh, to the highest standards. The, the, the finishing, the everything about it is just perfect. Of course, we have that iconic orange uh, minute hand that's become so kind of part of the, the Squirely's original designs. Beautiful little hexagonal uh, detail out here. And just amazing, amazing. I love those indices. It really plays a lot. It's, it's, it's so retro, but but yet kind of, um, you know, wouldn't be out of place on, on an astronaut's wrist or something. You know, it's just so cool. It's just so cool. It's got its own personality. It's a very original design. I, I really do like it. Anyway, let's, let's do a quick wrist shot for you. Okay, so here we are on the wrist. Now, my wrist is absolutely tiny. And it really does kind of push it to the, to the to the edge. It is about probably the width of my wrist, but it feels unbelievably solid. 
uh, and something you do notice when you take it off the brace the the little rubber strap it really does feel solid it's it's a kind of solidness you usually feel with with really high-end Swiss watches. It definitely feels more robust than the 1521 without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, this is a this is a totally different machine, really, at the end of the day. So let's just summarize the watch. Let's start with the, the, a few negatives. Well, uh, it's a big piece. Uh, it, I'm not particularly fond of the, the rubber strap. It is, it is a nice quality rubber, but it's a little bland. And I think for, for, such, a, for such an iconic watch, your best bet is to go with the mesh option they do have a mesh option available which is really really nice but really i can't really find any uh, drawbacks apart from its old, uh, big size if it was a if it was a smidgen smaller i would probably well i'll definitely keep it but it's going to be really tough sending this back i almost don't want to it's just so cool so that the only negative i can really find is is the the rubber bracelet is a little on the cheap side i would have liked something a little bit more refined uh, but um, the clasp is done well, of course it's signed and everything, but uh, it's just very kind of vanilla, you know, it's not, uh, and of course it is scented, that beautiful, this is a uh, hand, this is of course has that, it's made in Italy, it is, I mean look, it's it's not bad quality whatsoever, it's just a little bit bland for, for something with so, such personality as this. Let's talk about the good things because there's a whole load of good things. Well, first of all, we've got this amazing original design. This bezel is is like nothing else out there. The way it operates, you can't knock it out of position. You have to push down. And as a dive watch, it really, I mean, it's 1,000 meter uh, water resistant. It's, it's really robust. It's built like an absolute tank. You know, you don't there's no cut you don't even hear the movement working it's um it's so sealed in there and this little you know this capsule this this cushion case it's absolutely phenomenal of obviously the the beretta finishing on the pvd is not the same as on the stainless steel but you've <laughs> had to mention it it's just so cool uh, the, the the handmade bezel is just something like no other and i think it really it's a bit of a wild card watch but uh with this kind of retro chic aesthetic in fact i've got a lot more compliments in the, in the couple of days i've been wearing this while i've been formulating my thoughts then i have my usual watches so um it is quite something special uh, my pick of the bunch obviously is the pvd but uh, i gotta say this blue just have a look at that blue it's it's amazing it's beautiful just got this beautiful high polished case and you can see how the lugs how it attaches there it's absolutely stunning anyway guys so this is the 101 atm or the reference uh, 2002 from squirelet absolutely phenomenal stunning dive watch if you like a bigger watch it's very masculine, it's very, uh, especially the PVD, I mean, it's just stunning. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please, please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll definitely catch you in the next one. Okay guys.